You're not half bad. This might end up being a pretty good warm up. Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and today we'll be ranking every Vegeta fight. What did you do to my Bulma? For this list, we'll be looking at each time the Saiyan Prince put up his dukes across Z and Super. What's your favorite Vegeta fight of all time? Let us know in those comments below. Number 40 vs. Arale Dragon Ball Super There's more jokes than drama in this crossover, which is a good representation of how seriously this fight is taken. Not that we'd expect anything different from a duel with a gag character. That girl's way too strong! Only a character from an early 80s gag manga could have so much power! Number 39 vs. Dr. Rota and Prum Dragon Ball Super in the Tournament of Power, there wasn't any time to worry about small fry like these guys. So Vegeta looked for a sale and got two knockouts for the price of one energy blast. Nobody cares! <laughs> Number 38 versus Cell Jr. Dragon Ball Z. It's pretty impressive that Vegeta can actually hold his own against Cell's offspring. But that still doesn't change the fact that this whole scuffle is more about Gohan than the Saiyan Prince. Now disappear! Ah! Ah! Final blast! Number 37, this is Kochirator, Dragon Ball Super. On paper, this should have been three robots, three Saiyans, and three times the action. Unfortunately, it's over so quickly that it's not even worth the time it took to transform. If they love trios so much, then we'll give them our own. Those scrap metal jokers won't last a minute against three Saiyan warriors. <laughs> Number 36, this is Ribrianne and Rosie. Dragon Ball Super. It's undeniably thrilling to see these two obnoxious combatants finally get their comeuppance. But this isn't Vegeta's fight to finish, so it doesn't get the screen time it deserves. My love will keep you safe, Ribrianne! Not for long! Number 35 versus Future Trunks Dragon Ball Super Nothing says fatherly love quite like face planting your son into the ground. Vegeta may give Trunks a low grade, but it's still nice to see him try and impart some of his Saiyan pride to the next generation. Grading on a hundred point scale! I give you a 30 at best! Number 34 versus Kui Dragon Ball Z this is less of a fight and more of an execution. At least Kui's brutal demise serves as a cautionary warning to never get on Vegeta's bad side. Goodbye. Number 33 versus Whis, Dragon Ball Super. Beerus' attendant is in a completely different league from the Saiyans, so there really isn't much to this spa. Though admittedly, it's still pretty sick to see Whis stop Goku and Vegeta with just his fingers. Okay, boys, I think we're done for now. Number 32, this is Kato Pesra, Dragon Ball Super. This knockoff Super Sentai was good for a few chuckles, but unfortunately, Vegeta didn't share that same sense of humor. Not even Kato Pesra's so called ultimate mode could rescue him from an embarrassing tournament showing. Now that I'm in ultimate mode, I'm 300 times faster and more powerful! Number 31, this is the trio of danger Dragon Ball Super. Universe 9 decided to target two of the strongest Saiyans in the whole cosmos, and they got what they asked for. Together with Goku, Vegeta unleashed a final flash that knocked out all of the K9 combatants in just one blow. Number 30 vs. Magetta Dragon Ball Super Universe 6's Metal Man may be robotic, but this fight is anything but. The confined area, combined with Magetta's tough exterior, made for a brawl where Vegeta's head was just as important as his fists. You like that? Because you're finished, you pathetic pile of junk! Number 29 vs. Frost Dragon Ball Super 
Sure, the whole fight is just a single punch, but since Frost resembled Freezer both inside and out, that knockout blow is just plain gratifying. You make me sick! Number 28 versus Kaba, Dragon Ball Super. The power levels get plenty high in this Saiyan showdown, but what really makes it memorable is Vegeta teaching his opponent the pride of their race. It's a surprisingly heartfelt exchange, though rest assured, it still ends with a killer gut punch. Remember this pain and let it activate you. Number 27 versus Dodoria, Dragon Ball Z. I do this not for my planet, not for my race, but because you thought you could make the Prince of Saiyans a slave to your whim. Ah! Vegeta's sadism came out to play for this one. The only silver lining is that Dodoria didn't live long enough to suffer. From Vegeta, that's as merciful as you can hope for. Number 26 versus Jiren, Round 1, Dragon Ball Super. It's no Ultra Instinct, but Vegeta's evolved Super Saiyan Blue still did some serious heavy lifting in the Tournament of Power. Even though Jiren was less impressed with it, seeing Goku and Vegeta tag team Universe 11's ace is still a sight to behold. They got him! A joint attack? Are Goku and Vegeta actually working together? Number 25 versus Pui Pui, Dragon Ball Z. The amped up gravity didn't stop Vegeta from executing his opponents in world record time. The whiz part is that this poor henchman actually thought he stood a chance. <laughs> Number 24 This is Hit Dragon Ball Super. Vegeta learned the hard way that no amount of pride can defeat time itself. While he'd probably prefer most people forget this clobbering, the flashy techniques make it instantly memorable. <laughs> Number 23 versus Goku Black Round 1, Dragon Ball Super. This time around, Vegeta took some cues from his longtime rival and decided to rush headfirst into a fight. For his trouble, he got a bruised ego, a sword through the chest, and a front row seat to the power of Super Saiyan Rose. I'm not the opening act! I'm the star of this damn show! <laughs> Number 22, this is Annie Laza. Dragon Ball Super. The grumpy Saiyan has always had trouble playing with others, but apparently toppling this monstrosity is worth pitching in for. The climactic beam struggle isn't really about Vegeta as much as it is about Universe 7 finally working together. Yes, that even includes the Saiyan Prince. Number 21 versus Kid Buu, Dragon Ball Z. Goku gets all the glory in this brawl thanks to his iconic spirit bomb finisher, but Vegeta deserves major credits for stalling the bubblegum brawler. It wasn't very pretty, but as his final battle in Z, it's a worthwhile curtain call for his character. You're nothing, just a trickster. I am a warrior, the Saiyan Prince, Vegeta! Number 20 vs Perfect Cell, Dragon Ball Z. Like all Saiyans, Vegeta's always had an easily exploitable weakness. The only difference is that it isn't his tail, it's his pride. He's manipulated into letting the cybernetic villain attain its perfect form, which then lives up to its name by getting a near flawless victory over the Saiyan Prince. So Vegeta, do you understand now what I mean by perfection? To be fair, Cell didn't really win, it's more like Vegeta lost. Sure, there's plenty of cool moments, but it's hard to overlook that the only thing final about Vegeta's final flash is that it was his last chance of salvaging his reputation. Final flash! Ah! What's this? It's definitely an epic display of strength, just not Vegeta's. Number 19 vs Fused Zamasu 
Dragon Ball Super. Thanks to some Potara earrings, Goku and Vegeta learned that it's not so fun being on the wrong side of fusion. Even though the whole thing is basically an extended beatdown, there's an undeniable novelty about watching a clash between godly warriors. The lack of reverence you two exhibit in trying to lay hands upon a god, it is the worst kind of sin. Especially since Vegeta isn't just playing second fiddle here. Goku gets in a few good jabs, but it's the Saiyan Prince who steals the show with an instantly iconic father-son Gallic gun. Here's some free advice. Don't underestimate mortals, and especially not a Saiyan Gallic gun! It may not have sealed the deal, but the epic blast still reminded Zamasu that pride and ego are not the same thing. Number 18 vs Zarbon Round 1 Dragon Ball Z In all of the Freezer Force, there may not be two warriors more adept at smack-talking than these two. As a result, both of them are pretty banged up before a single blow is even thrown. You ever hear the saying, beauty is only skin deep? Well, right now, you're only seeing the beauty. Is that so? Well, pardon me if I hadn't noticed. <laughs> that just makes it all the more satisfying when Vegeta lets loose some serious strikes bound to leave a bruise or two. But in classic Dragon Ball fashion, Zarbon was more than just a pretty face. His beastly transformation is as cool as they come, and the thrashing he delivers proves it's not just for show. As I said, you only saw the beauty side of me before. Now with great pleasure, I introduce you to the beast! <laughs> the riveting back and forth and reversal finisher is just the kind of subversion that no show does better. Number 17 vs Jace Dragon Ball Z even as early as Namek, one thing about the Saiyan Prince was abundantly clear. He knew how to hold a grudge. So, after the Ginyu Force embarrassed Vegeta on the battlefield, Goku's rival decided to get some worthy payback. No kidding! You see, unlike the Saiyan you've been fighting, I get excited at the prospect of finishing off a warrior who's weaker than I. There's just nothing better than a foe's dismayed reaction when they realize Saiyans get stronger after each fight. Especially when, like Jace, they strolled into the rematch blissfully overconfident. Vegeta proceeds to not just defeat him, but utterly humiliate the poor guy. That sadistic smirk as he blows off Jace's head is worth the price of admission alone. Vegeta! No! No! Number 16 versus Krillin, Gohan, and Yajirobe. Dragon Ball Z. This one battle has enough twists, turns, and reversals for an entire arc. With Goku seemingly beaten, it's up to the Earth's JV team to stop Vegeta from destroying the planet. But are you sure I can handle it? Yes, you have to! Well, let's hope you're right. It's one of the franchise's most riveting games of cat and mouse, and not just because Vegeta becomes an actual beast. The hopelessly outmatched Z fighters utilize genuine strategy, explosive attacks, and an epic spirit bomb reflection to put an end to Vegeta's iconic rampage. Even Yajirobe comes in clutch for this one, and you don't say that every day. No, it can't be! Hey, maybe now he's harmless. <laughs> now I can claim my prize! Number 15 versus Frieza, Dragon Ball Z. You're wrong! No matter what he says, Vegeta isn't quite a Super Saiyan here, but his distinct lack of golden locks didn't make this showdown any less legendary. The boost in power is still no joke, and it led to some of the most dramatic displays of strength that Z had ever seen at that point. However, what really makes it go super is its emphasis on character over action. In the end, the flashy combat is superfluous compared to Vegeta's impassioned plea for his rival to avenge their race. Whatever it takes, stop him. Please. Uh, 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 uh. It may just be an appetizer to Goku's main course, but it's still a damn good one nonetheless. 
Number 14 versus Beerus, Dragon Ball Super. Apparently, a god of destruction makes quite the party crasher. Vegeta's a pretty good bouncer, and while he couldn't totally toss Beerus out, he did as good a job as he could. The destroyer made the rookie mistake of slapping his Bulma, which caused Vegeta to unleash one of his best power up roars to date. Mark my words, Beerus! Mark them well! You're going to suffer for what you've done! After Beerus dismantled most of the Z Fighters with a few flicks, the fact Vegeta managed to stay on his feet at all is impressive, let alone get in a few of his own blows. It didn't end up mattering all too much, but that enraged assault is still plenty cool. Say goodbye, you repugnant bastard! Number 13 versus Semi Perfect Cell Dragon Ball Z. The Saiyan Prince has always had the ego to back up his strength. But this time, it's safe to say his confidence was warranted. Here, I know you're confused, so let me make it easier on you. My back's turn. How's that? At first, there was no telling just how powerful Cell had become after absorbing Android 17. Then again, that's exactly why it's so epic to see Vegeta bulk up, throw a few right hooks, and crush the villain into a fine paste. <laughs> What a pity your tail stuck! Turns out all it takes is a year in the hyperbolic time chamber to turn a Saiyan prince into the ultimate cell squasher. Saiyan pride has never been so satisfying. Number 12 This is Goku Black Round 2 Dragon Ball Super. It's almost poetic that one of Vegeta's coolest fights is still technically against Goku. Albeit an evil doppelganger of him. Sure, the rose colored lookalike won the first round, but that just meant Vegeta had a lot to prove in this sophomore showdown. So he just cut to the chase and reminded Goku Black just why he's called the Saiyan Prince. You're an interloper, a Saiyan imposter! And I'm the real thing. The Almighty Prince! That glorious monologue speaks for itself. It's almost as triumphant as Goku Black finally getting a long overdue punch to the face. It shouldn't be too surprising though, since Vegeta holds his own against the real Goku, and an imitation never outdoes the original. I've never been afraid of you, Kakarot, so why the hell would I be afraid of your stupid counterfeit? <laughs> Number 11, this is Zarbon, Round 2, Dragon Ball Z. Evidently, revenge is a Saiyan specialty, especially for Vegeta, who shows his penchant for dramatics when Frieza's lieutenant accepts a rematch. What Zarbon failed to realize is that the only thing scarier than a power-boosted Saiyan is one with a bone to pick. <laughs> Face it, Zarbon. You're no match for me. I'm far stronger. Now would be a good time to start begging me to spare your life. Begging you! <laughs> Admittedly, it's pretty awesome to see Vegeta handily dispose of the very person who nearly killed him. The fact he does it with one brutal blow is just the salt in the wound. Bulma and Krillin's reaction says it all. This is not a Vegeta you want to mess with. Well, now that we've taken care of that little problem, the three of us have some unfinished business to attend to. <laughs> Number 10, this is Jiren, final round, Dragon Ball Super. There's nothing exciting about this beatdown. Instead, Universe 11's unstoppable ace seemed poised to take Vegeta's pride, tournament prospects, and universe in one fell swoop. And yet, even with next to no chance of victory, the Saiyan Prince found a way to stand up again and again. I swear on the pride of my race, the seventh will win. Oh. How did he manage to withstand all that? Come on, Vegeta. It's riveting not because of its animation or combats, but due to how empowering it is to see Vegeta refuse to give up. Even though it ended with a brutal defeat, he can still hold his head high that, this time, he didn't just fight for pride. Bulma, Kappa, I'm sorry. It's up to you, Kakarot. Don't you fail to... Number 9 versus Android 18, Dragon Ball Z. Fight is a pretty generous description for what happened here. 
After all, it's one thing to lose, but another entirely when it comes after some serious trash talking. If you give up now, I promise I'll turn you into something practical, like a toaster or a washing machine. He is really starting to annoy me. I'll have to give his attitude an adjustment. Vegeta had just flown onto the scene with his new blonde look, only for 18 to prove that her natural hair color was more than enough to beat a Super Saiyan. Suffice it to say, it wasn't just Vegeta's body that needed to recover after this one. What's it going to take to get through to you, Vegeta? You've been beaten. To this day, it stands out as one of the most one-sided thrashings in the whole franchise. It just goes to show that the bigger the power levels, the harder they fall. Number 8 versus Rakum, Dragon Ball Z From the very moment they stepped foot on Namek, it was clear the Ginyu Force were pretty much unbeatable. Though that's not for lack of trying. In fact, the prideful Saiyan put up one hell of a flashy fight against the squad's brainless brutes. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, I'm impressed. But let's see if you can bounce back from this one. <laughs> Rikum! Oh, yeah! It doesn't do much, but at least Vegeta went out with style. Gohan and Krillin even joined the battle, which leads to some great choreography and amazingly hype moments. <laughs> 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 The novelty of a three-on-one fight is totally enough to offset that this is basically one long thrashing. Just don't tell Vegeta that Goku ended up saving the day. Number 7 vs Majin Buu – Dragon Ball Z Atonement has always been at the very heart of Vegeta's story. It permeated his actions through Namek, the conflict with the androids, and eventually into the acceptance of his Majin form. But after over 200 episodes of character development, he wasn't fighting for his race anymore. He was fighting for his family. You've made me proud, my son. The actual duel with Majin Buu doesn't matter at all. The real core of this scene is Vegeta hugging his son for the first time in a visual representation of everything he's fighting for. It culminated the Saiyan's journey not with a period, but with an exclamation point. And so, one of the Earth's greatest warriors has vanished in a blinding flash of light. Number 6 vs Golden Freezer, Dragon Ball Super it had been quite a while since their inaugural scuffle back on Namek, and both parties had gotten some major paint jobs in the time since. Unfortunately for Frieza, by the time Super rolled around, Gold was already out of style. A lot of things have changed while you were gone. For starters, now I can do this. A transformation that makes me more dangerous than the Super Saiyan form ever could. It's got a sting that, really, Vegeta's whole job is just to stand there and look menacing. Though, rest assured, he gets his revenge on the Space Tyrants. Given how their initial duel ended, seeing Vegeta go blue and thrash Freezer is a worthy payoff that had been years in the making. It's simply not possible for me to be defeated by the likes of you, Vegeta! It won't happen! <laughs> Even if the world did end up exploding, the final score still definitely goes to Vegeta. Number 5 vs Android 19 – Dragon Ball Z At a time when glowing gold still meant something, Vegeta's gilded debut practically speaks for itself. Case in point, the Big Bang attack that totally lives up to its name. Man, what power! Here it comes! A little going away present for you! <laughs> Honestly, this is in contention for one of the most cathartic smackdowns in the whole series. Most of that comes from Vegeta's badass lines, which are all the more gratifying since he doesn't immediately eat his words like he does against a certain other android. That's right, my friend. Let me ask you, does a machine like yourself ever experience fear? It's safe to say in his first fight as a Super Saiyan, Vegeta definitely took the gold. Number 4 This is Top Dragon Ball Super Universe 11's Pride Trooper took the idea of becoming a weapon of destruction a bit too literally. 
Since the power of Hakai made him almost completely invincible, Vegeta's strategic showdown with the new god crackles with tension and creativity. He could destroy a form will save you, then it gives you the strength you need! Well, not if I have anything to say about it! No! But in the end, the Saiyan had to bring out the big guns to finish him off. And we don't mean the final flash. Sequels rarely live up to the first, but Vegeta's second self-sacrifice comes pretty damn close. His ample character development in Super ensured that this familiar closer was still downright explosive. Number 3. Majin Vegeta vs Goku – Dragon Ball Z from the moment their first fight ended, these two rivals had been destined for a rematch. It took a few arcs, but it was well worth the wait. To start, Vegeta embracing his darker impulses to keep up with Goku offered a deeper look into his psyche than we had gotten before. I will not live my life as your second. <sighs> that time is over. Every breath you take is an assault to my honor. But no more, Kakarot! By my hands, you will be cut down inch by inch! That's all presented through a truly sensational battle, featuring first-rate production values and outstanding vocal performances. Everything from the fight choreography to the cathartic monologues represent the best that Z has to offer, both for the series and for Vegeta. Remember, I've sold my soul to poverty. I keep no loyalties. I have a Saiyan heart that depends on strength alone. They're nothing to me! Number 2 vs Super Broly – Dragon Ball Super Broly Over the years, Vegeta has tried on a lot of different hair colors, but this movie makes a compelling case that red may be his best look. The transformation sequence alone is completely jaw-dropping, and yet the film somehow makes it look even cooler with one of the best animated brawls in the franchise's history. Even after Vegeta exchanges red for blue and teams up with Goku, the power levels continue to rise to unprecedented levels of hype. The only way to describe it is an utter assault on the senses in the best way possible. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1 vs Goku – Dragon Ball Z There's not much to say about this one that hasn't been said before. Its reputation transcends Z and arguably Dragon Ball altogether. Kakarot. What's wrong? I was hoping for a more interesting fight. You'll get one! I promise! To prove it, even something as simple as their opening stances are downright iconic. Throw in exceptional animation, breathtaking choreography, and a beam struggle to end all beam struggles, and it's easy to see why this one is more than just a great battle. No, it's the undisputed encapsulation of anime's greatest rivalry. <laughs> Sure, Vegeta's hung around the series in the years since, but he can rest easy knowing he already delivered an unforgettable fight on his very first try. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.